now, like, after all these two years, it's kind of paid off, you know? Mm-hmm. Through all the scariness and... Through all the scariness. Yeah. So there were times you wanted to quit, yeah? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Because I thought, like, this is too hard. I'm getting pushed too hard. I can't get through this, and my voice isn't meant to do this, or right. something like that. Why, why is she making you sing high on that? Yeah. I, I don't have a high voice, like, I don't sing. And that's what I used to think, that only there was one set range that I could do. Since I was a guy, I could go low and not that high, maybe. Yeah. And a lot of my guy friends that were in choir, they believed that too. Mm -hmm. And they just said, I can't sing in my high voice. Mm -hmm. I just can't do that. Nice. Well, what do you have to say to them now? Oh, now? Now, like, wow. Okay, so, it's... It's hard to think of something to say to them since there's so many things. Right. Now that I know, like that, if you just put the work into it, even if it's even if it's not your, in your natural range, mm -hmm. then you can reach it. Yeah, that's an important point. It's not in your natural range, meaning that's the point of your voice where you're comfortable. Mm -hmm. You sing naturally, and that's just how it comes out. Yeah. However, people want to expand their range, right? I want to expand my range, make it a little higher, a little lower. Well, it's kind of, it's like an all or nothing, you know, situation, meaning either you're going to go higher or you're not. So when you go higher, you yeah. got to jump right into that high voice and... And even if you're uncomfortable, it yeah. doesn't matter because if you just work it and work it and you know that even when it's uncomfortable and mm -hmm. you just keep on working, sure. it's going to pay off. <laughs> when I tried to sing in my high voice, yeah. it was so uncomfortable that I just, oh my god. Like my voice would crack and I'd just get scared of it. But yep. once I when I started to warm up to it then mm -hmm. yeah. it was all good. It was all good. But now we're on the other side of it and, and that's and the reason I'm asking you is because a lot of people are afraid of that. They're really afraid of that. And what you've actually done is you've gone places that people have never gone before. Like they're afraid to go or they're like, No, I do not go there. That is just a horrible sound. I can't make that sound. Yeah. My voice sounds horrible. What about the horrible sound? What do you say to people when they say, my voice sounds horrible, or that sound is horrible, how can I make that better? Why would somebody ask me to sing horrible? Well, the only way to make the horrible sound good is, weirdly, to continue making the horrible sound. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's, <laughs> exactly. exactly. It's weird, because the horrible sound is basically you trying to sing in a place that you've never sung before. Right. And if you don't sing in that place, then you just, that, then people believe that they can't. Right. So when they start to, and it becomes easier and easier, and the horrible sound becomes better, mm -hmm. then it's just, it sounds more natural and... Sure. Yeah. Anyway, but I'm really proud of Cohen because he has gone to places where people don't want to go, and now he's, now it's paying off. Now we're up there singing the high stuff, and we're, we're putting it, he's putting it together with the piano, so he's playing and yep. singing, and uh, he has original music he's working on, so Cohen is on his way to be a rock star, so...